So, I know I said that I was going to give you guys a uh, gay... No, that, sound, that sounds bad. I know I was going to give you guys a uh, vlog about whether anal with a woman should be considered gay, uh, male gold diggers, uh, taking a shit in public places, what men think when they're flirting with you, uh, all that stuff on the way. But I came across a conversation that uh, kind of took precedence over everything, and now I want to go ahead and do this one. Actually, it's happened twice, so we're going to have two more before those other four and then that'll set me straight for the rest of the year in january 1st i'll go ahead and decide what i'm gonna keep doing this shit lady defined nowadays as a polite term for woman but what a lady really is this isn't just from my head but the traditional definition of what a lady is the spouse of or the female equivalent of a lord or a gentleman and a woman of high social class or status but i think more or less the true de definition of what a lady is uh, can't be defined unless you know the, what the true definition of a gentleman is. Definition of a gentleman is. Definition of a gentleman is. A gentleman would be defined as a man, uh, a well-educated man uh, of good family and distinction uh, derived from the Latin word gentilis, uh, also translated in French gentle homme, uh, which is directly translated to nobleman. I know in these days we don't really have the whole nobleman and lord type of thing going on in our society, but uh, you can sort of get the point. So basically what I'm taking issue with is women these days that are claiming to be ladies, um, especially without knowing what a lady is. It's not just a woman that gets a hair up her ass one day and decides to call herself a lady. That's uh, It's not really quite that simple. With that being said, claiming to be a lady is, has just as much basis as a real man, a real nigga. Real niggas, all day. A real bitch, a real woman, an intellectual. I fucking hate that. I'm an intellectual. The fuck is that? Not only are there no definitions to a real blank, uh, because people tend to come up with these definitions on their own every day, and uh, they're always something different. And, you know, I go through Facebook, I've seen on YouTube, and uh, back on back in the MySpace days, and even everyday conversation, people will proclaim to have knowledge on what a real man is supposed to do, or a real father, or a real mother, or a real whatever. Being a lady has been defined since before all of us were born, yet little to none of these these traits of being, are being displayed or exhibited these days from the women, especially the ones claiming to be ladies. So far, we've already weeded out a whole bunch of you. Do you relate to or identify with what we've already defined what a lady is? Do you associate with or find yourself around gentlemen? I've always used the saying, you can't fly with eagles if you're hanging out with turkeys. If your associates aren't at the level in which you're saying that you're wanting to be at, then most likely you're never going to reach it either. <laughs> this whole thing started with a uh, conversation that I was invited into a couple days ago. I was told that there's a woman on Facebook, um, and this is sort of a quote because we read some of it, and then I'm sticking in little parts of the rest because... I really feel stupid saying some of the shit that she typed. So, uh, she said, I'm done with these thug ass niggas who just want to thug me for one night. Side note, what the fuck is thug? Is that like a, a new slang thing for sex? Like, I'm a thug dad or... Hey, let me know. Um, I'm dealing with men that want to treat me like a lady. That's an honest plea. I don't want to deal with this type of person anymore. I want these guys. But this particular girl, skanky Facebook pictures, you know, the ones where you got the the, 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 the breasts that come together that, that make the cleavage, the big crack in the middle, and they're right here under your chin, looks like there's a big butt under your chin. Pictures from the back, you got the thong out, and the ass is just all out in the camera, you know, on the internet. That's real classy, uneducated. I'm sure if, you know, you got Keisha over here coming up to that guy and talking like, you know, hey boo boo, I was thinking maybe, you know, maybe we could, no, I don't, I don't think they go for that kind of stuff. Uh, if you find yourself with these kind of pictures and using this type of language on uh, internet communities such as Tagged, Plenty of Fish, Facebook, MySpace, uh, I don't know what kind of gentleman you're actually looking for there. Not saying that a gentleman can't use a website like Tagged, but it just doesn't seem like that's the, 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 the majority that's on there. Living with your fucking mom. Living with your mom. Living with mom. <laughs> Women 
It's only in the movies where the suit wearing Esquire type congressman, Fortune 500 business company owner, or even the high school grad that has a good trade and makes a good living for himself, or the GED holder that went to UTI and works on cars, comes home greasy and stinking and sweaty every day, but you know, happens to be a good man, happens to be a gentleman and wants a woman to treat right. It's gonna go out and find you. The ones that find themselves in nightclub religiously every weekend, getting hammered, doing their Dougie, you know, taking pictures with the titties out and, and, the, and the, the, what's it called, smut, the booty meat hanging out the bottom of the shorts. That's cool in, 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 in your room, but not for everybody to see that, you know, gentlemen don't want that. That's not a, you girls with the colored hair that really isn't your hair color, red, blue, yellow, the black girls, blonde hair, Stop that. Stop that. This is more on a personal level. It really doesn't go into the lady thing, but you know, it's, it's pretty pretty much a dead giveaway that you're not one of them if you're a black chick with blonde hair. You walk, talk, and behave with no class. Probably another word that needs to find uh, a characteristic of exceptional merit. Probably another word that needs to be defined. Merit. Merit is behavior or characteristics of a person that justifies reward or congratulations. Just can't go around and call yourself a woman. Women, do you, can you honestly look at yourself in a mirror and say, yes, I'm a woman of class and merit, you know, just because uh, I got in a fight at work last week and pulled this bitch's weave out of her head because she cut her eyes at me funny, doesn't make me any less of a lady. She made me act that way, bitch. So basically what I'm trying to say is women, don't just go around calling yourself ladies. And I know that sounds bad because it sounds like I'm like kind of demanding you but you just look stupid when you do it, which is why I'm saying you probably shouldn't. I mean, it's just a suggestion. I know you don't want to hear it, but there are requirements for you to be a lady, just like there's requirement for us to be gentle. I know some ladies. There are very few times where their merit or their their uh, their morals or standards are in question because they carry themselves in a fashion that uh, lets people know that they are a lady. They don't have to proclaim Daisy really doesn't mean anything. But being a lady still does, and to a lot of us, it's what we're looking for. It'd be great if you were actually calling yourself one, if you actually were one. Pretty mad. Bitch.